Hi YouTube! Welcome to my first review in 2014. Yesterday I received my latest order from coolicool.com. This beauty is called the iNew V3 phone. When you order it, it comes in this pretty white box with some specs on the back. It comes with a 5 volt USB wall charger, earphones, a micro USB data cable, some English instruction manuals, a screen guard screen protector and last but not least it comes with a smart cover which is very cool I can show you right now. Check it out. This phone has a 5 inch capacitive 5 point multi touch screen with a 720 by 1280 HD pixel resolution it is an IPS display, you can tell by the great viewing angles and the manufacturer claims that they used the one glass solution technology. It has the MT6582 quad core CPU inside which is clocked at 1.3 GHz. It has 1 GB of RAM, 16 GB of internal memory and it also supports TF cards. It runs on Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. It is a quad band, it is totally unlocked and it supports 3G slash UMTS. Of course it has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, a GPS, a G sensor, a proximity sensor, a light sensor, it even has a magnetic field sensor so you can use it as a compass and it also has a notification LED. This phone also supports USB on the go and yes it really does work. It looks like that Cooly Cool is selling the latest production batch. I've heard that the first batch had some problems with um, USB on the go, but it really works. I will show you later in this video. Did I mention NFC? No, I didn't. Why? Because right now I cannot confirm or deny if the NFC is actually working or to what extent. I've seen um, several videos of this phone demonstrating that um, it does work with NFC tags. I don't have any here, so right now I cannot confirm if it's really working or not. It has two cameras, one main camera with an 18 megapixel output, autofocus and a LED flash and one front facing camera with an 8 megapixel output, but I'm pretty sure those megapixels are not real. And most importantly, of course, this phone is a dual SIM, dual standby phone. Let's take a look at the device. You have your front facing camera right here. Somewhere hidden are um, the proximity and the light sensor. And it also has a notification LED pretty much here. I will try to show you that later. As you can see, the home, back and menu buttons are soft touch buttons. And check out the home button. It looks really, really cool. On the bottom, it looks like those are speakers, but actually they are, are not. I'm guessing the microphone must be hidden in here somewhere. On the left side, you can see the power button, and I don't know if you can see this. This is actually a metal frame. It looks like brushed aluminum to me. On the top, you have a 3.5 mm headphone jack, your USB port. On the right side you have your volume rockers, on the back you have your main camera, your LED flash and a speaker right here. And let me do a quick jump cut to show you the inside of the phone. Here you can see that it has two SIM cards, one um, micro SIM card, one regular size SIM card and this is where your TF card goes. And this is your battery which is supposed to have 1830 milliamps. Some pros and cons about this device, well first of all I really love the design. It has a very nice display, it performs very snappy, I like the fact that it supports a smart cover and it has a buttload of sensors which I will show you later in the video and of course a notification LED that you can see right here is always nice to have. Some cons, well of course the uncertainty about the NFC. Is it working? Is it not working? Will there be firmware updates to improve things? I really don't know. Also the Wi-Fi reception is not the strongest one I have seen. Could be better and I also don't like the back cover. It is a little thin. 
Anyway, like always, I installed additional apps and games for demonstration purposes. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. If you liked this video, please leave a thumbs up. Please leave comments. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.